I sharpen the lady's fingernail grind gouge. You can see why it's called lady's fingernail grind because it looks like a lady's fingernail. I'm using the Robert Sorby grinding jig. Just down here is the edge of the board that my grinder is mounted on and 50 millimeters back is a piece of plywood and that's quite critical for the sharpening because that gives me the repeatability each time. So I push the chisel up against the plywood and I bring this part of the jig up and tighten it up. Make sure it is tight and then hopefully you'll be able to hear me while the grinder is going. We start the grinder and we make sure that this is seated all the way down and then all we do gently touch it onto the wheel and just swing the handle a couple of times. The beauty of this jig is you can take it out of the holder, you can look at your grind to make sure it's all okay and if it is that's fine. If it's not you can put it back in again without adjusting the position of the grind. So I'm happy with the grind on that chisel but the other chisel I use this on is one of my old favourites. This is the only one that's left over from when I was apprenticed. This is carbon steel and this is a slightly shallower grind, a slightly shallower chisel you can see but it still fits in the same holder and exactly the same thing applies. I push the chisel up against that bit of plywood, bring the collar up, tighten it down, make sure it's centered, put it in the holder once again checking that this is all the way down and because this is carbon steel you'll see this different type of sparks. And again we just swing the handle take it out, check the grind and if we're happy we turn it off. And that's all there is to it. There are other jigs available on the market. Uh, this is the only one that I use and this is the one that I am most comfortable with.